This morning at family time, it is time for a frog watch. And as we all know, the Roger Williams Park Zoo is always working to improve its conservation efforts, both locally and globally. And the frog watch is a perfect program to help with that great work. So joining us this morning to explain are the zoo's executive director, Dr. Jeremy Goodman, and Lou Parati, director of conservation. Dr. Goodman, nice to see you. Good, Good morning, Lou. Good morning. Great to have you guys here. Let's talk a little bit about frog watch. What we need to know, this is a great annual event. It, it is, and frog watch is one of our great uh, conservation programs where we actually get regular everyday citizens involved. We bring them in, uh, we train them. We have three different trainings in the month of March, so you can check our website out for the dates and times. We have daytime ones, weekend ones, evening ones, so uh, hopefully everyone can catch a training session. Absolutely, and there is so much to learn with regard to these guys here. What do we need essentially to know about them? What What is sort of like the, the leaping off point, if, you, <laughs> if I do say so myself, Lou? Well, scientists predict that two-thirds of amphibian species right now are threatened with extinction right. um, due to you know many factors habitat loss uh, now there's a new emerging fungal disease that's right. affecting populations globally um, and amphibians being a very important indicator of healthy ecosystems um, and let's it, talk about the role that somebody like this guy plays within that ecosystem uh, oh, absolutely uh, just insect control alone um, you know frogs play a huge role in that plus they put you know they they feed a lot of animals there's a lot of animals that rely on amphibians for food as well so. they sure do and there's so much knowledge so much wisdom to impart on the next generations dr. Goodman and that's really what the zoo is all about preserving and conserving uh, that, that's right so with the frog watch program we actually teach people how do I identify the frog calls. We have about 10 different frog and toad species in here in Rhode Island, so, uh, and they each have a different call, so uh, um, we train people on how to identify those, and then they record all that data uh, in a scientific way uh, into a centralized database, and scientists and researchers can actually use that information, so it, it's real science that, that everyday people are doing. And you can get up close and personal, which we should do right now. Is this guy ready to come out, or is he just hanging out inside? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And he doesn't have a name, you said. Uh, well, he's Lou a, just came up with the name Roger for him. <laughs> I, don't know, I think that works pretty well. <laughs> he's actually a cane toad. Um, these guys come from Central and South America. They're one of the largest species of toad. Right. Um, famous for their introduction to Australia to control uh, the cane beetles in the cane right. uh, fields, uh, which turned out to be a disaster by putting a non-native. But um, where they actually come from in range, they're actually a great toad. Right. They eat, obviously, a lot of bugs. Yep. This is fairly small. These guys can get as large as a dinner plate. Wow. Um, so they're, they're a very large species of toad. And they will, they will live for how long? These guys can live seven to ten years. It's incredible, uh, really. Right. Absolutely. Um, not many things predate on them. Uh, all toads have these kind of warts on them that produce these bufo toxins, which right. protects, protects the toad from predation. Um, even their tadpoles uh, are a bit uh, distasteful. It's amazing when we look at Roger, uh, <laughs> we can tell, we don't really know, but the different things, you know, as you indicated there, they all serve a purpose on him, a role. Right, you, definitely. I mean, you know, these long, powerful legs for jumping, you know, eyes on both sides, check out for predators. So, yeah, they're definitely designed, um, you know, to, uh, um, for their place in, in the ecosystem. And peripherally, he can see, you know, his peripheral is quite wide, isn't it? Their vision's great. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And uh, when the kids kind of get up close and personal and are learning from uh, about this stuff, that really is the ultimate satisfaction, isn't it? It absolutely, uh, absolutely is. And that's, that's the beauty of Frog Watch, is families can get out into the environment together and go into these habitats, you know, not only contribute to good science, but learn a little bit about what, what's right, that beautiful diversity that's right here in our own backyard. How long has the Frog Watch program been running now? So uh, the Frog Watch we've been doing for... Ten, oh, this will oh, be our 10th year. 10th year. Ten years, and right. it just keeps growing and getting better and better. We have one of the largest chapters and, and actually the most active chapter in the entire country. Uh, there's Frog Watch chapters throughout the entire United States and uh, Rhode Island here, a small state, but largest and most active chapter. You know, I think when we think the zoo this time of year, we think, oh, it's too cold, you know, I can't, but this, there's stuff happening year-round at the zoo, isn't there? There always is, and, uh, you know, winter, we're getting ready for spring when all the frogs are going to be coming out. And and uh, um, just like like the frogs, the zoo springs to acti with activity, uh, you know, and, and leaps to activity. So, yeah, um, always something at the zoo. Uh, we have our party for the planet coming up in April, and uh, like I said, we have Frog Watch training in March, and uh, tons of activities. Just check them out on the website. Would it be possible for Roger and I to have a staring contest right now? Oh, I know who's going to win this. Look, one. look at that. He's looking out. <laughs> I feel like he's going to leap at me. It'd make for great television, but I think he'd win the staring contest. Lou, Dr. Goodman.
Goodman. Always a great pleasure to have you both here. Best of luck with Frog Watch, and uh, we always enjoy spotlighting the zoo. Thanks, okay. Brendan. Thanks very much, gentlemen. If you would like to learn more about the Frog Watch and to get to know Roger a little bit and how your family can get in on the fun, just head to roadshow.com where we will post a link to the zoo's website.